morning, Brennan. Good morning. We are heading to the airport. This morning's our final morning in St. Louis before we head back to Orlando. We had an incredible, incredible trip. It's very early right now, so I'm ready to get back to Florida, back to the warm. Let's head to the airport. Travis is being super cool and taking us. We made it to the airport. The sun is coming up and Travis is being so kind as to drive us all the way here and drop us off in the wee hours of the morning. Hi Travis. Hey. Thank you for driving us to the airport. Sure. Do you have any final thoughts or lasting words? Just love each other and have fun. Okay. Goodbye Trev. Bye. Alright, we got our boarding passes printed and we are heading downstairs to our gate going through airport security. All right, so we made it to our gate. That's our plane right there going to Orlando. Brennan went to Starbucks and I went to Jamba Juice right over there and I got myself this Caribbean passion which came with mango, strawberry, peach, orange, and passion fruit. So normally I get my naked juice but I decided to get an actual smoothie this time so I'm excited for that. We should be boarding here super soon and then heading back to Orlando, back to Farley, back to Disney World. So we're about to board our plane back to Orlando and we were walking around to some gift stores to see if we could find any last minute merchandise for St. Louis. Didn't really find any that spoke to us so I went online and I just <laughs> ordered a shirt from the, uh, the Arch uh, gift store. So that'll be coming in the mail pretty soon. So yay, I got some merchandise from the Arch. Yay, <laughs> sorry, I'm sleepy. All right, so we are on the plane. Gonna do some editing here. This is from the very first day of our trip. So I'm editing the first day on the last day. <laughs> also have some snacks here that I picked up. Uh, I think it was yesterday, yeah, from Travis's office. So we should be good for the flight home. But yeah, we're about to taxi back and be in the air soon. We made it back to Orlando. We're inside Orlando International Airport, making our way over to the tram to head back over to the main concourse to go get our car and then finally go home. Probably know Orlando for its world class theme parks and attractions, but you may not know the other half of Our professional sports, high tech, and emerging medical industries to our vibrant parks. There is something for everyone. And now down the escalator we go to baggage claim, and then maybe we're going to get some food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Got her back. Yeah. Now we have to go catch a shuttle to where we parked the car. I didn't film this part getting to the airport. I just started the whole St. Louis trip at the airport. So let's go get our car. Let's go get our car. We're down on the bottom level of the terminal, which we don't really ever frequent because the one above us is for um, arriving flights and then the one above that is for departing flights but this is where taxis and shuttles are so this is what we're going to take to go get the car from the lot that we parked it in. Hi. Okay so we were just dropped off back at the economy lot. This is where we parked. It's ten dollars a day to park here. This is the first time that I've done this yeah. and it's actually a very reasonable deal because for us if we Ubered or lifted from our it was house. Really convenient. Like yeah. if you can't find somebody to give you a ride to the airport and you don't want to pay for an Uber, like this is perfect. It's especially cheaper. For, like a few days of a big trip that you take. Mm -hmm. Nice. And it's cheaper, and it, the shuttle was very, very expedited. And now we get to enjoy the pleasantries of driving here and driving back home. The runway is right over there. It's pretty loud. And here we are, parked over here in the grass. It was a lot busier when we parked here a couple days ago. Do you want to get some lunch? Let's get some lunch. So you were talking about a sandwich at Wawa, right? The Gobbler's back, baby! So it's like a Thanksgiving sandwich? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm in the Thanksgiving mood. I saw somebody have one, so I assume they're at all the problems now. And here we are back in the apartment, and look who it is! It's Farley! 
Yay, I missed you so much, buddy. You're so self-sufficient, I'm so proud of you. And then we did end up going to Wawa, and look at that sandwich. We got the gobbler. So that comes with, I think it had a few different options, but we got turkey and stuffing and cranberry sauce, right? And a bowl of gravy, it looks like. Yeah, and then over here, got a couple extra sides to go along with it, some sweet potatoes, and then some ranch mac and cheese. So we are gonna be enjoying that. We need to clean up all the uh, Halloween stuff and get into the Christmas season here soon. Mm -hmm. But first, enjoying the sandwiches. All right, a little bit of a time jump update. Those sandwiches were absolutely fantastic. Brennan is taking a nap in the other room and I've taken down all of the Halloween decorations and I've taken out the Christmas decorations so I can kind of start getting ready to put these up. Now I have a tree in here that I've had the better part of about eight or nine years. I've had it since college and it's my favorite little tree, but for the first time, I kind of have the luxury of size here. I've never had an apartment this big. We could actually get a real tree. This year we are on the third floor, so that would be kind of a challenge to get a real tree up here, but it is definitely possible and a very, very tempting. Also, I've finished uploading the first day from the St. Louis trip. So for like the first time ever, maybe, I've uploaded the first day of a trip before the final day is actually over. So that is kind of cool and I'm proud of it. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing for the remainder of the day. We were playing around with a few ideas, but our sleep schedules have kind of been all over the place with time zones and daylight savings time and the temperature changes have been all over the place. I forgot to mention it, but it's very, very hot in Orlando. Again, surprise, so going from it being relatively frigid in Missouri and now hot and humid down in Florida. I'm sure one of us or both of us are probably gonna get sick with that kind of a change, but it was absolutely worth it. That trip was fantastic and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Right now I'm enjoying this, a Schafferhofer uh, Hefeweizen beer, a pomegranate flavor because a while ago I went to um, the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot and they've always had the grapefruit Hefeweizen beer there and they have this pom pomegranate one for the festival and I thought it was so, so good. So Brennan and myself went to, I believe it was an ABC nearby and they had it. And so right now this is like my favorite beer. It is just the perfect combination of beer and um, fruity, I guess, because I usually like my beers either like very, very dark or very, very fruity. I'm not much in the middle when it comes to, um, well, I don't know. It kind of depends on the mood that I'm in and what I'm pairing the beer with. My camera just loves to run out of space in the middle of one of my long-winded ramblings, which is understandable, I guess. But what I was basically saying is I like this beer and it's good. And on the subject of my camera here, that was probably the most surprising and cool thing of the trip is I totally thought that I broke this camera at the city museum and I know that I kind of talked about it like a little bit but we were in the cavern portion of the city museum where you can't really see anything anyway and so I didn't even have my camera on and I just kind of like hit it on a rock as I was like trying to crawl through this crawl space and I was like oh that's probably not good and then the lens it wouldn't come out and then it wouldn't retract and I was like well that's really not good at all is it and then I kind of like smacked it on my thigh a little bit and then it came out eventually, but then it still had trouble going back in and I was like, I just broke my camera, didn't I? I'm not gonna get to video anything on this trip, which is not the purpose for going on the trip, but it's like, you know, you're playing baseball and in the fourth inning your baseball bat breaks and you're just like, uh, well, uh-oh, now what? And luckily it decided to start working again and then it didn't give me any more trouble and I still think I'm probably gonna replace this camera because it is about two years old now and it has a lot of wear on it so I'm probably gonna get a new camera but I'm very thankful that it decided to start working again because I was able to film the entire trip and didn't have any more problems so that was awesome but I think now I'm gonna wait for Brennan to um, wake up and then we'll kind of see what we're both feeling up to. If anything at all, we may just stay home and watch movies, but we may go on another adventure, or I may pass up because I have not slept at all. But we'll see. Brennan's up from her nap. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, I slept a long time. No, you needed to. Uh, but we're here at Disney Springs to get some Blaze Pizza. Yeah. And here we are at Blaze Pizza. <laughs> There's Brennan's high-rise pizza, and here's mine. I got 
half regular red sauce, half white sauce with some assorted pepperonis and bacon and onions and goat cheese and mozzarella and peppers and uh, oregano. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what'd you get? I got my usual. I got the white sauce mixed with some pesto sauce with goat cheese. I got extra goat cheese today because I was feeling silly. <laughs> some bacon bits on it. <laughs> I'm feeling silly? <laughs> All right, well, you silly. Eat it up. <laughs> So of course, right after Blaze Pizza, we gotta go to Sprinkles and get some cupcakes, right? What you gonna get? I love that salted caramel one, but I get it most of the time. I'll give them the strawberry. Really? They have a new flavor, the sticky toffee. I might try that. Blaze Pizza is kind of way over there, and here we are next to Sprinkles, and I think we're actually heading back to the car, right? We just wanted a quick trip today to get some pizza and some cupcakes, and I think we fulfilled that mission. I feel like this is one of our uh, like travel traditions, where whenever we get back into town, we just have to have a night at Disney Spring. Pretty much, have a better city walk. Okay, so now we're heading back to the house, so we can enjoy the house, the apartment, so we can enjoy some cupcakes. And you didn't finish your pizza, but you got the high rise. So. I wanted to finish it so bad. Mm -hmm. It was so good, but I had to stop myself. I ate my whole pizza, and it was. Very good. <laughs> and one super quick Disney Springs trip later, we're back in the apartment and we're just gonna take it pretty chill. Tonight we're actually gonna be watching one of the Spider-Man movies because Brennan and I have been trying to make it through all the Spider-Man movies from Tobey Maguire to Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland. That's just what we've been doing recently, but I'm pretty tired. I've been up since pretty early. This morning, what was it, like five in the morning when we woke up to yeah. go to the airport to fly back to Orlando. And But it's been a great day. It's been a great trip in general. I wrapped it up on the couch pretty well earlier, I think. It's just as far as just how nice of a trip that it was. And I hope to make it again at some point. And I think we're just going to enjoy these cupcakes that we got from Disney Springs. Brennan, I shouldn't have just, you can't even see your hand. <laughs> it looked like it just like floated in here. Like, ooh. <laughs> Brennan's right over here. She, I almost hit him out of your I just hands. got out of the shower and I didn't realize that there was still vlog left to be done. <laughs> so. What you gonna do? So it's just me, but Brennan's right here. I that did look really cool. It was like floating cupcakes. I'm missing all that YouTube money. Ooh. Paying for special effects. YouTube money. Yeah, right. Well, have a good day. Thank you for coming with us on this super, super fun trip to visit Travis and Christine in St. Louis. We had a great time. It felt fantastic. Uh, we got to do a lot of fun stuff. I broke my camera, but it was all worth it because it was great, and well, I hope to do it again. At least I didn't break your tooth. At least I didn't break my tooth. Yeah, that's true. Travis chipped his tooth while we were, uh, I think, carving a pumpkin. He, like, bit into a piece of pumpkin, and he chipped his tooth. So he's going to have to probably go to the dentist and get that looked at at some point. But I'm uh, going off on a tangent. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.